I can hardly remember the torments I went through during the Gestapo interrogation. I told them the plans of our mission, why we were headed to Komhoff, what we found near Vilnius, everything. However, I do not believe that things would get so very complicated. I couldn't have known that the prisoners were going to start a rebellion. From the outset, my actions only made the situation worse. Although, not everything was lost. We obtained crucial evidence and saved a key witness of these atrocious events. A man named Joachim. We escaped and that night in the safe house, Joachim told us about himself. Before the war, he owned a factory in Munich. But after Kristallnacht, a Nazi-led pogrom against the Jews, Joachim fled to Poland. When the Germans attacked Poland, he was captured. He began his miserable journey from labor to concentration camps. This is where he got in touch with the Home Army and became their inside man. After weeks of stillness and waiting for any news from the Home Army headquarters, finally something moved. Greta showed up with orders that said we were going to London. We were to give the Allies evidence of the war crimes committed by the Germans. The shortest route straight through German airspace was not possible. Instead, as part of Operation Wildhorn 4, me, Joachim, and Greta flew to Brindisi in Italy, and from there towards the southern border of France. At the time, preparations for Operation Dragoon were already underway. We were assured we'd be completely safe. Unfortunately, no one considered we would accidentally be mistaken as an enemy. With no radio and a catastrophic fuel leak, we had no choice but to make an emergency landing in occupied France. Oh, damn. Consider yourselves lucky, chaps. I have no bloody idea how I managed to land at all. We're lucky it was just a fuel tank that was hit. <laughs> Did I just say that? Shh. Someone's coming. C'est un avion anglais. André, fais attention! Oui. State your business here. We've had an emergency landing on our way to London. And this Dakota is not flying anywhere anymore. What is your business in London? Michel Patrouille Mundo. It's a German patrol. Quick, follow me. So, what is your job? We have a very important message. It has to be delivered to the British government. What kind of message? Couldn't you telegraph it? We can't telegraph me. I see. It's uh, confidential. Who are you people, anyway? We're Force Française de l'Intérieur, the FFI. The Résistance. We're on the same page, then. We're with the Polish AK, the Home Army. Call me Greta. These two gentlemen are Joachim and Manfred. Germans? It seems you people really do have something important to tell London. Trust me, it is. Joachim, ich verstehe fast gar nichts. Alles ist in Ordnung. Now look, I believe you falling from the sky exactly today is a sign. What do you mean? Tomorrow we are supposed to liberate Brive la Gaillarde, our hometown. Supposed to? We. Oui. Some of our key members were captured two days ago. We don't have enough manpower for the plan. I don't have a choice but to ask for your help. In return, 
We're going to help you get to London. Sorry, Fraulein, but we have our own assignment. Our plan involves killing dozens of high-ranking Nazi dignitaries. Okay, go on. Tonight, they're having an important gathering at a party near our town. The plan is to assault the event and massacre as many as we can. It will devastate their leadership in the region. And this is our chance to liberate ourselves. Interested? Joachim? Fuck, I'm in. Manfred? Ich weiß nicht, worüber ihr. We're in. Formidable. But we need to do some preparation. It is important to get inside the party first, in disguise. And you, Greta, fit the role perfectly. You will come to the party as Nicole Schneider, a French wife of one of the absent officers. She should be keeping the invitation at their mansion, here in the town. Break inside and steal it. Don't forget to take one of her fancy dresses. This is going to be your party outfit. Of course, La Pute has to die or so. You should find her enjoying her time somewhere nearby. The last thing is that we need to cut off their local garrison from any reinforcements. Blowing up the radio station up on the hill should do the trick. Do you have explosives? Oui. That part was prepared successfully. Here, take them. Any questions? No? I think we will handle this. I like you already. Try to be as silent as you can. We don't want to draw their attention too soon. Manfred, take this bomb. I don't know what to do with it. Me neither. Uh, so, from what I understand, we're blowing up the radio station and killing somebody. Basically, yes. And? And then we will shoot Nazis. Huh, well that'll be something new. Never enough, if you ask me. Well, if there's only one person I wouldn't refuse to help kill Nazis, it's you, Joachim. Appreciate it. I didn't see these guys uh, last time. It might be time, good for me to so. dress as a soldier again. Three years on the Eastern Front and I never got a new uniform. Now I'm changing them constantly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <clears throat> Manfred doesn't understand French. And he said as much to uh, Joachim, if I understand it correctly, like... Who was it? It was a uh, Google Translator though, so he, he said that uh, I don't understand really. Okay, actually he can't... Because he has a rifle on his back. Um, but we two should be good. But yeah, I mean, he says that I, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, I bet. Heard all the stories of you helping our airmen. Would you believe our nations were sworn enemies once? <laughs> Luckily, that's history, Lady Michelle. It's strange they've put a woman in charge. You have a problem with that? It's just... unusual. So? Oh, nothing. Tough times make for unusual situations. You, as a Jew, are in a team with an ex-Nazi soldier. That's unusual, Joachim. Women in charge are not. Maybe I'm simply not used to it. Better get used to it then. One day this damn war will end. And afterwards, I don't think women will be pushed around anymore. <laughs> Is that so? The men have been decimated. You won't be able to rebuild shit without us. Hmm. I never thought about this. Everything is fucked up. We need to clear them out, so I don't know. <coughs> Alright, sorry, I picked up a cuff. It just won't go away. Um I don't know if they care what I do. Mm, this might go to hell actually. I'm 
Yeah, it did. Oh, it did. F9, come on, quick. Why did you hmm. come with us? I was ordered to. Yeah, I know, but why they picked you instead of Led, for example? He surely has better connections with London, as silent unseen. Yes, but he's not really a negotiator type. He's not. But what's there to negotiate about? We have documents, photos, and me. But you and Manfred were both born in Germany. That doesn't really make you a reliable source of information in British eyes. Especially when our information is so difficult to comprehend for a human being. And besides, my English is simply better. I get it. Leonard is just a simple soldier. I wouldn't call him simple. He has a unique personality, I will admit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It sounds like you are actually fond of him. No, I am not. Actually, you should be focusing Red, uh... on... I am not talking to you. <laughs> you like him. There's a lot of soldiers around. What should I... F I didn't even think of what I should focus on, but... It I guess this. I want to get in somehow. Front door isn't an option, okay. Or is it the back? No, this is the front door. So the front door is an option. Just Manfred with his darn rifle. He needs to look away, and he needs to look away. I think one we can do with this. Also, I don't think uh, Manfred is a Nazi soldier. I think it's more of Wehrmacht. Although he did take part of atrocities, to my understanding. On. Yes, it is. I think you saw him when he was <coughs> turning around.
dead, so the French population is not with us. Oh, fuck yeah. <coughs> Let's save again just to save the reasons. Um If I do that, how do you how do you view coin? Yeah, darn it! Ah. Is anyone watching? You? moment some hag and this guy decided to oh wait 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 no damn it too slow too slow hiding space over here, otherwise that would have been absolutely wonderful. Mm. Oh, and we get him too. No, we don't need it. People walking around there, but oh, I wish I had a bigger keyboard. Yeah, she, she gonna see over here. Um, ok, 
Okay, he doesn't wanna talk. She's gonna walk around like this. And he's gonna go here, then look back. I still have to wait until she walks away though, because a knife will be heard. Should be safe there. Hold on, can I pick him back up? There, just to make sure. So you busy there. No one should really care. quite interesting that they didn't do the... or maybe they did. Um, anyway, I'm out of time. I can I try and keep these at 20, mostly because I'm running out of space every time I do like one, two hour <coughs> like recordings. Hold on. Seen the war. So I catch you in the next one. Farewell.